Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie Threadbow, and uh, this is my... If, if it doesn't go by itself, I'm full soon. <laughs> this is my latest uh, podcast episode. Uh, and this one is about, of all things, my family WhatsApp group. You are what? <laughs> That's right. A lot of families have them. And uh, excuse me while I get out into the traffic. Uh, I wanted to make a, a an episode about my family WhatsApp group because I think it's really good. I like it. I'm enjoying myself because I do the most talking, and I like the sound of my own voice, obviously. Uh, but I mean it. It is really good. Uh, it's um it's better than other stuff. And you know, whenever I say it's better than other stuff, I mean Twitter, normally. I've never been on Twitter, so how would I know? Look, you get clues. <laughs> and when I say Twitter, you know, as if it's a very bad thing, I don't mean every, everything on Twitter. I don't mean everybody on Twitter. You know, there must be you know, 20... 80% of people on Twitter must be smarter than me, I'm sure. Uh, and there must be a lo a lots of really nice chats going on on Twitter and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, when I say on Twitter, you know, in that tone of voice, I mean the people who use Twitter for lecturing each other, uh, politics, and all that sort of stuff. And what I like about uh, our family WhatsApp group is I think it's better than that. It's actually quite enjoyable. Uh, I've got many cousins on there. All the ones who are touched in the head are the ones who are chatting on there. <laughs> and I do the most chatting. But what sets us apart? What makes me think <laughs> that my family is better than everybody else. Doesn't, doesn't every family? No. I think I've got a case, and I'll um, I'll try and make that case. It goes like this. I think fundamentally, we're not out to lecture each other or tell each other what to do or tell each other what to think, or to get naggy. And I think Twitter, now I said that with attitude, so you know which bit of Twitter I mean. You know, the people who are lecturing each other. Uh, we don't seem to do that. And it's probably because we're all close. My brothers and sisters and I, my cousins and I, my aunties and uncles and I, and um, we're all close. Uh, so, the thing that's more important, clearly, clearly, I'm, you know, I'm just watching threads, as they call it, on the Threadbo WhatsApp family group. And, uh, you know, you'll get something like, you know, my brother, Charlie, <laughs> that's his name, just like me, I'm Charlie too. Uh, he might say something, you know, I think, blah, blah, blah. But then, and now I remember an actual instance of this, and then my cousin got on and said, ah, oh, I think, nah, <laughs> not blah, 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 I think, da, 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 you know what I mean? Something the opposite, completely different. But then my brother Charlie, he said, oh, gee, that's an interesting perspective you've got there, Charlie. And uh, my cousin Charlie, he said, oh, I was actually just then thinking that um, you had an interesting perspective. And, uh, and, uh, and then my brother said something like, hey, you've been lately anyway, you know. And my cousin said, yeah, 
good. You? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, what have you been up to? In fucking lockdown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, and that was that because, you know, nobody was playing the man. I don't think anyone was even playing the ball, you know, because there's often a thing in footy, you know, there's some people who play the ball, you know, they're competing for the ball, and there's some people who go for the man. But on our, now, going for the man is the worst thing, you know, it's a, uh, going for the ball is a good thing if you're playing footy, but if you're on a family WhatsApp group, you're up there just for a chat, and I like that. But what I think happens, on the footy field is you get some people some people playing the ball you know and some people playing the man you know they're thugs the ones who are playing the man <sighs> on Twitter I think there are whole sections of uh, and they're not really playing the ball at all it's mostly about playing the man there's whole sections of Twitter doing that Twitter you know that bit of Twitter not the normal people on Twitter. I'm sure there's some normal people on Twitter, but the others. Um, when you say Twitter, you know what I mean. The annoying bit of Twitter. All right. And that would cross over to Facebook and the other ones as well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I'm not on those things, but I know their style. Um, and how do I know their style? And how do I know then that we're different? A lot of people say we're different, my family. Uh, it comes across sometimes as you're all touched. <laughs> but we're different in a nice way, and I find it very enjoyable uh, chatting on my family WhatsApp group in a way that I, in, in exactly the same way as I would find it very unenjoyable being on Twitter, I'm sure, if I was ever silly enough to go on that theme. Now the exa just one example. Now an example doesn't prove a rule. We even had that discussion on my family WhatsApp group once as well. You know, uh, that was, and that was my auntie and I. And I'll probably, I probably won't even remember how it went and, and who was arguing what. But it was something to do with, um, you know, the old, it's invalid logically to put up an example to prove a rule and it's invalid to use a rule you know that applies most of the time to apply to every example yeah something like that My, you know although there's a hundred little things like that in the world that you can chat about and my auntie and I we chatted about that and we were sort of on opposite ends of the spectrum and all that sort of stuff but it went like you know my auntie Charlie because a girl can be Charlie. Um, my auntie Charlie and I, we just chatted about it like my brother and my cousin did before. And at the end of it, how you been? Nephew? Not bad. Yeah, godmother. <laughs> yeah, and that sort of stuff. As it turns out, my godmother and I, uh, we, we tend, I don't mind saying this, to have sort of fundamentally different worldviews on a few things, but extremely, an extremely compatible way of discussing those things um, whereas I think on Twitter if two people have got different world views uh, they won't have a, a compatible way of discussing those things they'll fight and we don't and I like us for that uh, now the example I did have an example because I saw a news article on as it turns out mandatory vaccinations. Now this podcast episode is not about vaccinations. It's not about COVID. It's not about any of those things. Um, it's about this. I saw this article on you know, my news app on my phone. So when you, now here's how you get a little window into Twitter. Um, even if you're not on Twitter, because I clicked on the article and it took me into something, and then I'm reading away, it took me into The Age. The newspaper, The Age. The news, not paper. 
and in the newspaper there was a an image of the protesters in Melbourne yesterday. There were protesters in Melbourne yesterday and they were protesting against mandatory vaccinations. Okay, there are thousands of them, I believe, there are thousands. And anyway, I clicked on the link um, and when, you, when I clicked on the link, it took me into Twitter, whoosh, out of the age. I didn't ask for that, but I got it and, I, and into Twitter I was. You know? Oh, I'm in Twitter. I thought I wasn't on Twitter, but I am now. Now, once I was on Twitter, I was able to see comments underneath um, what turned out to be a video of thousands of people marching. That's what a protest looks like. All right. And scrolling down the comments, a lot of them were, you know, I don't know why people crack these jokes, you know, combined IQ of 64. <laughs> yeah. Um, and all that sort of stuff, you know, so 4,000 people, I reckon that would mean, um, you know, what is that, point, um, 08 per person? <laughs> uh, 0.8, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's, my math is very good. Now, um, but then, you know, I scroll, scroll, uh, yeah. Now, basically, lots of people just saying, you idiots, you idiots, you idiots, you idiots. Oh, you are great people, you idiots, you idiots, you idiots. Roughly in the proportion, I'm sure, to the proportion of people who think mandatory vaccinations are good. And people who think that they are terrible. All right. But then I, I just saw two right next to each other. And it was a, a young lady and a young man. And they looked like they had the same profile, except one was a man and one was a woman. Um, and, you know, just, they both had a nice smile and they were both, su they looked super confident. I don't know how much, I, how I could tell all this just from profile pictures and, um, and the way they spoke. And, yeah, little smiley, um, emojis with a tear coming out of their eyes. They're laughing so much, you know. Both of them were like that. Now, the first one said to the second one there. <laughs> um, the first one said, um, what did that person say? Oh, the first person was responding to the protesters. And the first one said, um, why don't you all just go out and get vaccinated? Yeah, but it was, it was more than that. Um, I remember what he said. Why don't you get over yourselves? That's an important comment he made there. Why don't you get over yourselves and go and get vaccinated? Okay, that's what he said. And then what she said was, spoken like a true vaxxer. Now that took my attention, that little, quick little bit of dialogue between those two guys. Because I said to myself, that's exactly how people don't speak on my family's WhatsApp group. You know, the Threadbow family WhatsApp group. We don't do that. You know, and I really like it. Uh, because what were, the, what were those two people doing there? They were both playing the man. They weren't playing the ball. They weren't playing the issues. Why don't you get over yourselves? That's just playing the man. You know, it's not nice. It's not necessary. Unless you want to fight. Yeah. Uh, Unless you are the sort of person who wants to get on Twitter and bloody lecture everybody, you know? And whilst I might be in favour of mandatory, mandatory vaccination, I'm not in favour of that guy expressing himself like that. I wouldn't want him in my family, and I definitely won't be wanting him on my family WhatsApp group. Now, the woman who responded to that guy said, Spoken like a true vaxxer. We see what's happening there. She's no better than him. She played the man there. Yeah. Well, I think she did anyway. You know, I won't analyse it, but that doesn't sound very um, nice. Especially given that she put a little emoji after that. Um, you know, what she's saying is all people who are against mandatory vaxxers are idiots. And they're so stupid that I'm laughing. 
with a tear coming out of my eye. You're so stupid that I'm laughing. That's what she was doing because there was a little emoji there and she was laughing her head off with a little tear coming out of her eye. She was laughing so hard. That's not nice. And the bloke wasn't being nice telling her to get over herself either. Well, her, she, her, and people like her. Um, and uh, as I read those two little comments, I said to myself, this is why I am not on Twitter you know, or Facebook or anything, because I think it would vex my spirit. I think it would vex my spirit. But my family WhatsApp group does not vex, uh, vex my spirit. Yeah. Just one example, for example, we discuss the most inflammatory things that, things that would be incredibly inflammatory if, if they were discussed on social media. Um, we discuss those things in just the most casual, laid back, you know, hard hitting, way but playing the issues you know not playing the man and I really like that and I think we should give ourselves a pat on the back all those of us who actually do the talking on our family whatsapp group because there's always talkers and there's um, readers and watchers you know what I mean the watchers they're the smart ones um, the chatters like, and I'm the worst, I chat the most, uh, we're the ones who are a bit touched in the head. But, uh, but that's all right because we, we slide a few jokes in there. <laughs> that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I probably took a too long to say that. But I just wanted to say I like my family and I like my family's WhatsApp group. Uh, bloody good bunch of people. And they're up there for a chat. Not to lecture each other on everything. That'll do. Now how do I turn this thing off without touching my phone while I'm driving on a freeway? Alright. See, I'm virtue signaling to the left here and I'm demonstrating that I um, know that I should stop and then press the button.